our home maintenance masonry here again. Old Mexico concrete. Uh, we do a lot of repair work. Today, what the problem is, is when, these, when the homeowners pull in off the public road onto their driveway, this curb is too high. So we're going to cut this curb and also we've uh, worked on some cracks on the driveway too. Uh, here's several of them that we just got through doing and uh, Scott right now is finishing that off, sponging it smooth. You can see it's one little size a little higher. We've, we've smoothed that out. Now once that dries, that's going to be 100% better. It's going to flow real good. It just takes about a month or so for things to start blending back in because see this driveway has got a lot of mildew on it. See how black it is over there. Here's another crack we're doing right there. So beautiful home. Look at this little fountain right here. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful scenery. Beautiful home. Here's the man's home. I mean he's got a beautiful place. And basically we're going over all these cracks and we're going to fix that curb. Uh, so just showing you all the different places and the things that we do. Here's a blower right here that we're going to use to what, what, what we have been using to blow out all the cracks and clean it. I'll show you what Float's got going. He's smoothing all this off now. Here, here's a crack. I'll just show you how, how bad it was. That's the actual crack right there. You look, see how deep it is. I mean, it's... That's a pretty bad crack. That's the crack. That's the crack. Now here's the here's the situation. If that crack is not filled in, what will happen is, is that side of the concrete, which is this side over here, it'll drop, and this side right here, it'll raise up, and that's why you don't want water rolling in there. So, basically, when we get through with it, I got some more cracks right there. They smoothing it out, making it look real pretty, and. Uh, we're going to start wrapping this up just right shortly, but we got to get, I'm going to show you what it looks like once we cut this up here. And uh, we just got to get, uh, get this up here cut because one of the problems is, is when their friends and relatives and family, other people come over, they bottom out. People who have a lower car, the car is a lot lower to the ground. Beautiful house, beautiful house. And uh, this job we're doing in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Beautiful, beautiful city up here. So they have a lot of rock work up here, kind of like in Chattanooga too. Lots of rock work. But uh, I'll show you some more here just a little bit on this little section we're going to cut out. If you ever have a problem where people turn into the driveway and they basically are bobbing out, it's because this curb was not born. They never did take this curb out. This curb should have been cut and taken out. Down here, the curb was taken out. I'll show it to you. So whoever did it down here did their job right. Basically right there, it's all smooth. They cut the curb. I'll show it to you where it was cut. So you can see it right there. See how it was cut? They actually cut, cut, they actually cut it right there. And that's why this right here is smooth with the road. And they did their job right. But when they, when they Hoover built this up here, when they, they should have cut that curb and made that a uh, whole lot better. It has to have, it has to be uphill a little bit because as the water comes down this hill, it don't want, it don't need to roll on the man's property. But this was just pretty much neglected and done wrong, but we fixing to fix it. Thank you so much. We'll show you just a little, some more, just a little bit. All right, here we go. We finished it up on this curb. What it was, was Mark's right there is fine tuning. He's smoothing it out. See, it's a lot more of a, it's more round and smoother now. What happened was, was uh, basically the people who built this thing did their job wrong. And what we've done is, is we've came in and made this a smoother transition so that when they turn in here, they can basically, the car won't bottom out. I mean, that's the main reason why he hired us to do this. So there's that. Basically, the cracks are starting to dry out. There's one of them right there. You barely can not see it over a period of time. It'll do even better. Huh? What you think about it? So hit, tell everybody, say hello, Scotty. Hello, everything looks good. That's Scott's my son right there. He's my eldest. So anyway, we've got these cracks done. Everything's looking good. There's one of them right there.
That's the one crack right there. See it? That one crack, that's a pretty long one right there. There's things looking good. They're drying out. Beautiful home. I like that round window right there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All that stonework around it. It's a beautiful house. Well, anyway, he's, uh, we've already done been paid. We're, he had to leave, and he's already trusted us and to finish it up and gave us the check. And Now we're getting ready to head on out here. And Anyway, repairsforyourhome.com is the, is the name of our company. We do this a lot. We want you all to know that uh, we can come work for you and do you a good job. It's just a matter of you calling us and trusting us. We can, we can solve all kinds of problems. And we appreciate you very much. Every job that y'all that y'all uh, give us, go to go to repairsforyourhome.com, and we can help you a lot. Repairsforyourhome.com, and thank you so much and goodbye.